Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to the 2024 NCAA Championship. Championship game at the Lincoln Financial Field Stadium. In Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, at the city of Bravi Love, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Today, we had a kindly weather delay because of the rain and stuff. It's not our fault, it's just the rain. And now, we're just about to resume, and we are underway. Here we go. And the team we're rooting for for today's national championship game will be is will be Maryland Terrapins. And I'm pretty sure I hope we all this nothing changes. We're gonna be in pack this time, but and just right before that, we lost the NCAA baseball. And it was scores. We on the board first. Maryland's DJ during the break. We are on top. And they had the two inch pumping in the turf locker room. Scores. We on the board first. By a stick. He takes. Responsibility and accountability for this goal. If you stay with him, you'll see him. This is one that's right up his wheelhouse. He's kind of guessing to the off stick side. Watch Syracuse today. He is so two handed. The senior from Atlanta, Georgia. I watched him throughout the course of the season on tape. He could sling it with his left and his right hand. The Georgia delegation had a hand in that. Here we go. The assist by Eric Malver, who's from Atlanta. Oh, what the? And we still have it. And where it goes out of bounds on a shot, awarded possession. Lincoln Erksa, Maryland's leading score, too much on the Whoa. Pass. And this could be a big turnover. Ball was tipped. Kavanaugh <laughs> picks it up. Marlette wanted it. Kavanaugh right. will set it. So this game is going to be a lot of fun that I can ever expect. This game might not going to last until... But this game was supposed to last at 2 o'clock, but, but unfortunately... Hmm, how do you know he has an older brother on, on that team? Like, Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Chris Cavanaugh. Now Pat against Zapatillo. It's the side of the net. Big Benny clamps down. Well, it has been right there, but, the but our home stadium is that I think let's say so field hockey good. and and the cross stadium in College Park, Maryland. 
I know I like where that is. Their rotation, their communication has been near flawless. Six people playing together. Oh, that's way that's wide. Goalie, All right, we can't that's shoot a very wide, you know. Spot than any in the country. It's been a man-to-man -man scheme that held opponents to less than I'm like, shots what? So it's a combination. Because this is like a physical game. game. Grinding out long possessions and keeping their defense fresh. Syracuse had to pop out of the stick. He recovers. Checked by Christian Lockwood. Score! Score! Again! Wait, done it again! Wait, done it again! The rain won't keep him away. Daniel Kelly is known as a big left hand. Wow! And I was talking we are to him on a roll during the delay. Scores! That's how we shoot it! Issue between two Notre Dame defenders. They both end up inside covering the same man. Spanos is able to set his free from mid-range. And this is a skim. This is a skim shot I'm talking about. That ball actually accelerates. It just pow! It hops off the wet turf and skips. Very tricky to save mid-range bounce shots on a wet grass surface. Now, Kelly with the goal. He had three in the semifinals. Syracuse with the assist. So Ryan Syracuse has had a hand in the two Maryland goals. Lynch and Weirman both at the deck. The wings get involved. Stamos and Donovan near the sideline. Mm -hmm. Out of bounds. Over there, ball. What did these teams you know, do had, during the delay? Yeah, we had almost a two-hour delay here, Denise, and different perspective. I saw all the Maryland players after they watched some tape on the, the Man Up unit from Notre Dame, which is tops in the country, just kind of refining some of their responsibilities through film. Most of the team was out. They had their sticks in their hands. They were playing wall ball. Notre Dame stayed in the locker when I talked to some officials from Notre Dame. It was more just foam rollers, listening to music, eating some snacks, but... The Terps, almost the entire team is out in the locker room with sticks in hand, playing some wall ball, and super, super loose. Second to midfield gets a run here for Notre Dame. And Greg Busenkill and Wiley Gray. Terps won this situation a couple years ago in the semis. They had delayed three and a half hours. It's Princeton. Taylor bottled up near the crease. That, that can be in the crease! Yo! This is can be for real. Now we can talk about the Cavanaugh's until we're green in the face, but the success of this Irish offense this season has been their ability to pass the ball. It's family style offense. Taylor double team kicks it behind. Easy kill. One more up top. Everybody eats. Everybody shares the rock. Angrick a year removed from. ACL knee surgery scores left handed from point blank range. Nine deep, they will run at you from the offensive midfield. Most teams in the country are static if they have five or six, but you saw the aggressive nature of Maryland on that possession, too. They collapsed on Taylor, and the ball movement off of that collapse from Taylor to Boos and Kill allowed that step down. Airman wins it back. Luke Weirman is not just a full go face off get off. He can stay on and set picks. Pace when he dodge. But this time he will run off. Maryland waits on its offensive personnel. Owen Murphy who did not play in the semifinal. Murphy if you'll be the great at Irks of Irks of the Big Ten freshman of the year last season. This is Whittier now. Fires on the run. Ensign makes the save. Nobody's made more saves mm -hmm. in the history of Notre Dame lacrosse. Irish in transition. And Kavanaugh to Taylor. That's too easy. Did he try to get up with us? Yes, they did. Darn. Oh, my God. 
big game when you can make a, a quality stop. And we are looking live at the Lincoln Financial Field Stadium in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In Philadelphia, we have the largest transportation is SEPTA because they have Buzz L, they have Buzz L Subway. Try in Norristown and Regional Rail. And uh, the only safest ride is to Regional Rail. Regional Rail and Norristown. I would say Regional Rail and Norristown. Yes, and Norristown High Speed Line are the only two that. Never had no problems. Why? Because it's the safest ride from 69th Street to Norristown. And uh, and for the regional rail, they are the safe commuter rail ride on. If it's not in city limits, then who knows? Well, and Cusa's got two points for Maryland, goal and a helper. Hmm. If it's not in the city limits and it's out, then Buckner can't scoop it. And Tyler Buckner is the former Notre Dame and well, Alabama quarterback. Tyler Buckner. Good idea. Sean Wright, 90 and white, as a freshman, a second team All American. He shut down him. his matchup most of the season. An unbelievable. Uh, but he is long, he's got the feet in the patience, you've never seen it over commit. But this is a turf that wants to play 6-on-6 six six defense. It's a lot of goals per game in NCAA tournament. By now. Notre Dame has the horses, they have the depth. Chaos in a track meet faces the Irish. Chris Cavanaugh spins it back to Devin McClain. Notre Dame's top scoring That can be to the top scoring position, I guess. They're around the net. Don't go into the crease. Good save. Good save by the goalie. It's a good long lead pass from the goalie. Maybe one of these. Oh, I don't know. There are a lot of options for me to travel. Maybe like whatever university is in the tutorial of the campus. Like Rutgers University, where my band has went a little. Did it? Did it? Took it in the lead. Yes, they did. Wow. Wow. Okay, we're about to take a timeout, and we'll be right back here with more fun after this. But we are trimming by one now. We was just checking the lead and, and like tying the game up. But now all of a sudden, the Fighting Irish is now taking back in the lead. 
23 in white is one of them. We'll be right back with more fun after this.